Good morning, everyone. Good morning, and welcome to our Sensory Story Time. It's so good to see familiar faces here and to see some new faces as well. Um, thank you all for coming. Sensory Story Time is a program that uh, it's very inclusive and adaptive to kids. Um, we came up with the idea because we obviously um, were seeing more and more autism diagnoses. So we knew that we wanted to start targeting this group of kids. So we developed this idea and Sensory Storytime is essentially a program that helps kids who are either on spectrum or maybe just having a little bit of a harder time in story time um, feel more comfortable. We do a lot of movement and interaction. Um, we have a lot of adaptability so the people who are doing these programs throughout the county are very attentive to their audience. A huge bit of why we wanted to start these is because the average parent with an autistic child doesn't feel welcome at the library. We live in a world where people equate library with quiet and autistic kids. That quiet is not necessarily what's going to happen. Um, so we're really trying to push towards saying, hey, the library doesn't always have to be quiet. You're welcome here all the time. I will say that there are more manipulatives at play in a sensory story time than the average story time. We frequently will do um, therabands, which are these guys, um, and we use these for a couple of different songs. Um, we always have bubbles. Um, we frequently will do something else that is um, uh, an oral activity. There will be a, a, song, a song that we do which is called Fly on All My Toe, and you put a feather on different parts of your body and <gasps> blow it off. And that's what we do to get ready for bubbles. Like we're practicing the action of blowing and using our mouths for different things. Gently down the stream, merrily, 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 life is but a dream. We also try and do fine and gross motor movements in the midst of it. Um, we very frequently would do row, row, row your boat, but probably not in the way that you're used to seeing it. We have child sit in front of grown up. We actually hold hands and literally row back and forth. So we're doing big gross motor stuff. Um, and what I always say in story time is this can be as a rocky or gentle ride as your child may enjoy. Part of the success of this program has been that we work with uh, Infant Toddler Services Early Intervention and they actually look for families who th this program would work well for and send them our way. Um, so it's been really great for us to be able to have that connection and to have someone sending us families who they feel like would really, really benefit from this program. Our goal with Sensory Storytime is to make it feel welcoming and open and inclusive. We want every single family, no matter what their needs are, to feel comfortable in the space. And our goal, honestly, in many ways, is to have um, kids who are on spectrum and kids who are not on spectrum interact. Um, because building relationships, building friendships, doing playing together um, is a huge deal. So this program was designed not to say this is the only story time for you and your family. It was designed to say story times are for you and your family.